In today's video, we're going to give you some screenshots and illustrations of culvert designs. The important thing here and what's missing from the internet and YouTube and Google is actual hard dimensions in the size of materials used to build structures. This is your typical log design. What they do is they go in here and flatten two sides of the log so they're stackable. You can spike them together and then you have internal spikes to keep the soil pressure from pushing your log stack in. This is a basic design you can use with many types of logs. This is giving you dimensions here. The size of the log, 8 by 10 inches. Top logs are 4 inches. And it's showing you that this is a 30 inch culvert. So this is basically a 30 inch box. And here it's talking about drift pins, spike and spiking logs together. Basically a drift pin is a large spike. Some of them are square and you drive them in a round hole and the hole's better. The other thing you can use here if you don't have drip pins is number five rebar, which is five eighths in diameter. Number four is also usable. It's a half inch in diameter. So you can actually go by rebar and cut it and use it to spike this stuff together. That's probably the cheapest route to go rather than buying spikes. Now here's another example where we have staking on the outside to hold it in place rather than the inside. And here we're using six by eight diameter logs. Those are much easier to move by hand with two or three people than the eight by 10 inch logs. This gives you detail on how you can build seats. You can take your bottom logs and trim them and you can use vertical logs here. So what you could actually do is take something that's 24 inches, which would be firewood, and you can cut the ends of it with notches and you could basically use firewood to build a culvert like this. This is something you don't see very often. Now these next designs use various size of two by materials. And this is showing you how to make an 18 inch culvert using boards. So this is really nice. All these board sizes are available at Home Depot or Lowe's. Now, what I would do here is when it calls for a three by 12, I would take two two by 12s and tack them together to use that board. That way you're getting full thickness here because this is unplaned lumber dimension. So this is all rough cut. So where it's calling for a three by, take two two bys, nail them together and use them as a single board. I really like this one because it gives you a lot of drainage. You can see the size in here. You have two 19 inch openings. It uses a center board for support. And you can see how this is like a trough situation where you fill the dirt in on top of it and it has braces going around. And these braces actually also help hold the material in there that you're filling around it. This you could build with two by material or you could double the two by to make three by material. This is another example of an 18 inch by 18 inch culvert built out of boards. Screenshot it, look at your dimensions. This is a larger four by four foot culvert built out of boards. You can see in here you have internal timbers used to strengthen the shape of this. As you get bigger in diameter, you're going to need internal bracing and external bracing. This is a very handy culvert design. It's four by four inches. This last one I'm going to show you is a six by six foot culvert. This is a really good one. It's built out of four by four and four by 12. 
what you're going to want to do on this is where you have 4x12s up here, I would use 4x6s from Lowe's or Home Depot instead of the 4x12s because that's readily available. And if you want to run some 2x12s this way across it, you could strengthen it. So you can build these sides up by having multi-layers of boards on them if you're worried about the strength of this. But keep in mind, you're not going to be running an Abrams tank across this unless you're just in it really deep. So if you're running regular vehicles, dump trucks, things like that, you have more flexibility on your weight loads here. The good thing about all this material is it's light enough it can be hand carried into position and assembled right there on the spot. And you don't need a crane, a backhoe, or anything else to move the material around. That's why I like these plank or board culvert designs. You can tote all this in even if you don't have a vehicle available. So please share your thoughts. We'll see, see you on the next video.